Can you control your anger? Now, when I say control your anger, because we see day in, day out, you know, going from place to place, you see people get angry on small things, even, you know, like road rage, whatever, right? Ooh, you see yes. it all the time. But can you really control your anger? Let me know. Kane, I'm, I'm going to go into this. I'm going to go into this. First off, uh huh. yes, you can. Okay. But, okay. Okay. but. That's, that's, a, that's a hard thing. It, it is a but on that. Conjunction, people. Mm -hmm. You have to, it can be self-taught or taught. When we're kids, when we're raised up by our parents, you know, because we get mad about something. No, you can't have that ice cream right now. Little Mitch. Ah, oh, eh. You throw those temper tantrums. No, we're going to turn, you're going you're gonna to stop that right now. That's not how we're going to conduct ourselves. So you start being taught this, you being taught this, but if you don't have anybody teaching you this, you get mad about something, you go break something. Nobody tells you no, as you grow up, you can't control what's boiling, what's building up in you. And then something happens. You fight somebody, you beat somebody up. You might not know when to stop. You done killed somebody. You done did something that you can't come back from. We can control anger, but through being taught, being disciplined, as we come up, that really helps cultivate us in controlling mm -hmm. anger. Well, now, with that being said, though, with that being uh, said, uh, Kane, uh, I just put this non-disclosure on it. Go ahead, go ahead. Even if we do have two parents and we've been taught all those things, uh -huh. we still as individuals have our own different experiences. We can put on a little facade. Hey, uh -huh. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. But you mentioned something about road rage. Yeah. It can take over anybody, regardless of nationality, race, any of that. And we see what happens. People who can't control their anger or emotions. And what do they do? They get in fist fights. They shoot. They run people over. But I do believe that we can control anger. What do you have to say? Oh, okay, so if you say that we can control anger, why is it that these people that are having road rage, and we can stick with that point or whatever, uh, why is it that people that are having these road rages and people are not moving fast enough or moving too slow or they cut you off or whatever the case may be, why why is it that they can't uh control their anger and during that time even though they had the the um upbringing of whatever you know yeah. they they say hey look you can't always have your way this is how it goes be be calm about the situation blah 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 right or is it that the people that are lashing out during road rage and for any other instance in life when you're dealing with another person Yes. Is it that they, you know, uh, pretty much uh, didn't have anything, anybody to lean on or nobody to teach them the right way. So they're just acting out what they grew up and what they saw, you know, from all that time. So I I, I think there there's a possibility overall. Uh -huh. I think it's a possibility to control anger. However, yes, it's, it's a, um, a learned skill. You know, like you have to, uh, yeah, yeah. your parents will help out, especially as a youth. And then over time, like over time, you kind of build up this um, this wall where you're not letting everybody in to disrupt your peace. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So you shouldn't let anybody control you in any kind of way. That's how I see it. it. Nobody should be able to dictate your character. And that's what happens a whole lot. People will say things and get you out of character and that means they control you Woo. they control Can't, you so that means you're, that means you're jumping to a conclusion you're wanting 
wanting things to happen a certain way or whatever, and then you make these rash decisions, just like you said, you make a decision that may cost you, you know, time in jail or whatever. So Kane, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Kane, I agree with everything you just said, man. Mm-hmm. And once you, and you done said this before different episodes, uh-huh. once you give up that control, your anger once you give up that control, man, it's almost you can't get it back. You letting somebody dictate yes. your actions. And yes. it's not good yes. when you give up that control. But I believe we've all been there. Yeah. But it's how you deal in that situation. Did you learn from it? Did you learn from it? Did you grow? And we see it time and time again. And I'll have to admit, congregation, Back in the day, when I was in Jacksonville, Florida, somebody cut me off crazy. If I'm in the car, you know, I'm kind of cool. I got my family in the car with me. Man, I, I, man, they put my family at in danger, at risk. Sometimes, unbeknownst to me, I remember I tried to follow somebody. And really? I was married at the time. Really? She's like, what are you doing? You know where you at? People carry they Second Amendment. They carry guns. Mm-hmm. It kind of snapped me out of it. But I got upset because I got in my feelings about, hey, they always almost hurt my family. But what was you going to do? Let's and that's, say, just let's say, that's ridiculous, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the well, truth. You're going you're gonna to confront them and say, hey, look, my family was in this car. This blah, 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 blah. You put my family in jeopardy. But then what? You know what? And what you just said right there, I didn't do it, but I could have even put them in greater danger. Even yes. putting myself in greater danger. So, I mean, just like you said, we could put aside of how you were brought up taught and everything yeah you have to if if you can't see it somebody brings it to your attention hey man you you heard of anger management um how people react on the job on the job and we see youtube is full of different people uh getting out of character or maybe that was their character yeah and wanting to fight and now they don't have a job they don't have a job. And I've seen it on different jobs that are on that I was on. People letting words make them do something that they can't come back from. And that yeah. is the truth. That that's that's so truthful because I'm pretty sure in congregation, I need y'all to chime in too. You know, we don't want to leave you guys out in the yes. uh, comments. Just let us know how you feel about this. But um you've seen this on um maybe YouTube, TikTok. Instagram, whatever. There's pranks where people are trying to get other people upset. Okay. You know, and how would that prank even work if we didn't have this built up, you know, like wall that if anybody else try to breach that wall, they will they will explode. And it and, and a lot of times it's pride. A lot of times they will say something that's slick outside of the you know, outside of their neck. They'll say something mm-hmm. like to you. And then it's like do I entertain this? And a lot of times those, I mean, I don't condone the pranking and all that, but however, when you see it, it's like, Oh my God, these guys are going crazy over nothing. Lead this person, walk away. You ain't even got to deal with them. They're not worth your time, but you give them your time. Right. And it happens all the time. They will say certain words and you know what it means, but they're trying to do a joke about it. In the same sense, you know, I'm gonna give you a punch. Uh, then it'd be a fruit punch or something. You know what I'm saying? It'd be something crazy like that. But it's like we get all crazy off of what people say, the words. Well, Kane, I, I'm gonna have to say something. I don't like any of those pranksters, okay? Yeah. Especially when they growing up to you growing up to grown people. When you go up to a man, you don't know how he can react. That's why men and women, I'll say this, are different. Men when they they can feel threatened or disrespectful. You said the pride thing. And yeah. what can, and the, the prisons yeah. and jails are full of men with pride or whatever. Yeah. You you come and you play. I'm with my lady or something. And some guy walks over and 
maybe grabs her hand as I'm holding her hand. They done did crazy stuff like that. Or hey, baby, what's up? You see me holding. That's her just hand. talking. That's just talking. Though. Uh, yeah, but he he touched. You her can't hand. control you, that, me. Mitch. Mitch. No. Mitch, you can't control I'm that. I'm just saying. Look, look, look. Hold on. Ten three. I am. <laughs> Uh, let me hold on. I said 10 3. I stand by. <laughs> hold on, it's coming out of me right now, y'all. 10 3 means look stand by congregation. Look but I will say, hey, we're gonna keep on walking, man. I don't know what's going on, but don't don't put your hand on me, don't grab me anything. We Once they do that, that, we're just talking okay. about talking. Okay, a lot of people get, but, get in their feelings about words. Yeah, you can keep walking. I'm 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 an advocate for keep walking, yeah, go on and move on. Yep. But before we go to you, you take me back to '96. No, that was that was different. I was different. Then I'd be what ready to do some things. What made you a firecracker? What made you that little firecracker that that would maybe get lit anytime? Like what? Because what? let me tell you, and we'll go with pride. Hmm. You are not trying to punk me out. You are not <laughs> about to See? punk me out. See? And that's in front of people. Who? We Your grow. old lady in front of anybody, guys, my anybody. boys, anything. Yeah. No. You're not finna pump me out. It's gonna have to go down right now. Mm. That's it. Mm-mm. I mean, but you know, we thank God for transformation and things of that nature. Because now they're not doing the same thing in '96 as they doing in 2024. What do people usually do? Everybody has a gun. Nobody's putting up their hands anymore. No, sir. So it's a different aspect. But pride does play a lot. But the thing is, the thing is, and and you gotta let the congregation know. Congregation, I want y'all to chime in too as well. But um, so you saying people, yeah, they are strapped. They have these guns or whatever, right? And they they legally carrying, and they are willing to pull their gun out on for somebody just talking. You, yes, that's, that's, really that's so crazy. If, if you if you are concealed carry and or carrying a gun and you can't handle yourself when somebody talks to you rudely or disrespects you and your significant other, or whatever, if you can't handle yourself, come on, you don't need to be carrying. Okay. It may be controversial. It may be controversial just just because I said that. You don't need to be holding anything if you can't you can't even hand, handle your own anger. Because your anger is getting out of control when you need Ooh. to go ahead and squeeze the trigger on somebody that's just Ooh. talking to you. I can see if your life is threatened. I can see mm-hmm. if they were putting hands on you or your significant other or whomever in your group. You know what I'm saying? I can see that. Right, but, right, right. But if that's not the case and you just got into your feelings because the prior kicked in, no, you know you're not pulling out no weapon. For what? Right. For what? You don't need to be carrying anything, even if it is a knife. You know what I, I'm I I agree with that. I agree with that. But in the aspect, and I'll play the devil's advocate. Go ahead. You never know what somebody what? else has. Okay. So nope. people, they 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 depending on what location you could be at, you out to the club, whatever. Mm-hmm. You don't know whose people talk crazy, especially when you're, you know, back in the day, everybody leaving out. You have the guys over there that's sitting on a uh, cars or whatever. The ones that's trying to holler at whoever, you know, or be disrespectful, looking for an altercation, a fight, or trying to holler at girls, even if you with your girl. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm on them. I, I ain't might worth putting out a weapon, one. though. I know, but I might. Come on. People, you want to be the first one. And this doesn't happen. I have seen it. They want to be the first one to pull it out and store it. I'm defending my life. He has something, or I'm, I'm pretty sure this person has something. And they being highly disrespectful. The prison and jails are full of people that that has happened to or similar. I'm talking about, you know, back in the day, we we're a little older than uh, yeah. some of the congregation. Yeah. And but that's yeah. how it used to be. Yeah, yeah. For real. I, I, I got a quick story. So, and this is so crazy. In uh this is uh actually in LA, right? Okay. So I was in LA at one point in time and we were leaving a club in LA. There were some guys, looked like they were probably you know how you know how they do the quote unquote parking lot pimping, where they just yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, outside yeah. the club or whatever and just wait for for everybody to you know, for it to end and just try to pick, 
you know, pick up girls or whatever. But it was so crazy when I was walking walking uh, past them and they were just just saying little things to the women that were passing by. And um, even the women that were with guys, they were saying like, man, I can't believe they let that horse mouth woman in here. And then you thinking about it like, I was like, God, no, that was that was a little uh, that was man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I'm just saying, that was yeah, a jam yeah. right there. That yeah, was, yeah, like, yeah, hey. yeah. But nobody reacted. Everybody just kept going, kept mm-hmm. walking. Cool. They just kept saying little things or whatever. But somebody that had a little couple uh tequilas or whatever, and they've been having a good time, and then they hear that. You're not in your right mind. And a lot of times that's what happens in those situations. Yes. Everybody's a little tipsy or whatever. They waiting on an Uber or they're uh heading out to their ride or whatever the case may be and then they hear something crazy like that and they want to act and react you know what i mean yeah. to whatever's happening so that's why i was like when i heard that i was like god dog, they crazy over here in la you know what i'm saying i was mm-hmm. like yeah no i said that was crazy and, and you know i just kept going because i don't know what they're gonna do i don't know if they're gonna start a fight but i just let them go ahead and and nothing happened or whatever but Good. i just you know it could have if yes. you had that pride kick in, just like you said, you mm. want to protect your uh, significant other. Yeah. And yeah. you don't know. You could have turned around and said, who are you talking to? And then, you know, you know how they talk. It you know be how over. they talk. Yes, Man. yes, yes. Come on. Yeah, they, they, they just, they just, they just, you know, kind of poking. But it ain't numbered words. People and, and, will get crazy, go crazy off of words. Go and ahead. congregation. Put in the comments if you had some type of instance where you let anger take control uh, of I'm you. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's a plenty of times where they just, you know, went off the deep end off of somebody else's words. And then if that's the case, then they control you. You don't control yourself. You a loose cannon. That's how and, I see it. Go and, and, and Cain, on a different aspect of this right here, mm-hmm. when we're raising up our, our children, mm-hmm. our kids, and you see that, man, I tell my my little girl, okay, you can't do this. And you see she has these temper, temper tantrums that's just, she starts throwing her dolls, breaking them. Uh, she wants to break things. Mm-hmm. Do you nip it in the bud there, or you let it keep going? Oh, baby, you laugh it off. Don't do that. I'll buy you another doll or whatever. But it's it's building up. So how yeah, do you, gotta, you handle that situation? You handled it right on the spot because guarantee they probably had to see it somewhere else. Mm. They had to see it. They they don't just. It, it, I don't think it's in eight. There's a lot of people, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, man. But I, I don't think there's in them to be so angry about a situation that doesn't go their way. You know, mm. the, I mean, a lot of times what the kids do just sit and cry. You know, yeah. and then what we say, man, don't be mad. You know, toughen up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't yeah, t- yeah, talk yeah. back or whatever. You know, and then then it, that's what starts the altercation or whatever. And that's that's what you know. A lot of us have been taught in the past or whatever i mean the way that you know things are going now you don't want to teach somebody to do something like that because that can be the end of your life nobody's fighting anymore oh, nobody's no. fighting everybody's pulling out a weapon you know yeah. what i mean and and that can be you know life-threatening so definitely i would say that you know you know uh, uh especially especially with the kids or whatever you're teaching them you know a lot of times things don't go the, the way that you plan you can be angry about something you didn't do right for yourself or somebody did something to you. And, and you know, it, that can happen. But, however, it's not the end of the world. Right. That's the yeah. biggest thing don't, right don't there. Don't give it all that energy. You're giving it a whole lot of energy to nothing or whatever. Let's move we, forward past this. Can we compartmentalize the anger, sit it right there in your mind, then sit down and just, oh, man. You got to decompress yeah. and think about, you get, a, get your little space. Think about why was you angry? The emotions that you felt. This has come with, with a little time. I'm going to tell you this. It comes with a little time. Man, why was I so mad? Yeah. Why did I get? And then you might, after you really think about it, I shouldn't have let that. I shouldn't have reacted like that. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't have. Uh, 
did or said what I said. True enough, now I can walk away, but now I can think about why did I give that person all of my energy and then get upset or whatever the situation may be. But if you can yeah. get to a place where you can compartmentalize it, get to your space and then think about it, man, you might be able to start handling yourself in a more professional manner. And it'll take a little bit more for you to get to whatever degree of angriness, or if you want to say that, but you can handle it differently. And then you growing and growing. Okay, that's all I have to say on that. For sure, for I sure, mean, man. Comments, comments. I want to hear y'all, congregation. Uh, let us know. Give us a thumbs up, man. Look, look, the algorithm. That's what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but put your comments. We'll, we'll we'll respond to it definitely, and you know, respond to other people's comments too as well. But yeah, um, just like Mitch said, you know, definitely. I mean, do not let somebody else dictate your character. Just, <laughs> do not. Do not. Just, do I agree not. With, <laughs> I agree with the Canaanite on that one. I hey. agree with the Canaanite <laughs> on that one for sure. For sure. Hey, look, and that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, bye bye. Let's go. Do something. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them. All of them. 